what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i don't know when you guys are gonna see this but eventually you will see it i guess um but welcome to the half season finale of uh, um i guess season four of attack on titan um as i said my subscriptions are just not working right now my subs they don't get notification when i put out these videos so i don't know what's going on with the channel but for these little things that are going on even though i would love if things were normal right now because attack on titan is one of those things that does very well on the channel so i can i i, I don't know what to say but i just don't want to string this along until another time because i'm just i want to know how what's going to happen next in attack on titan i'm excited to see as i said i am reacting in the background to to all everything that is going on on that i've been reacting to on the channel so it's not like i'm not reacting because i'm still want to watch my shows i still want to watch the shows for the channel um but the problem is that i can't upload anything to the channel right now because it's gonna hurt the channel even worse than it's already been hurt by this stupid algorithm that they have on youtube and you know with youtube having one simple job just let my subs know when my videos are out that's so hard i guess that's very hard right i don't know why i didn't get i don't i, I haven't gotten a notice from youtube or anything that i've been checking through the email i'm like did they email me and tell me hey you've been doing this or whatever so we're not gonna be sending out notifications for you i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i'm a reaction channel i don't know what it is but all i know is that um i do have to say one thing i was i was under a little bit of spoiler territory discussing something on discord with somebody with with somebody and they kind of reveal that hanji finds levi alive or dead <laughs> i don't know it's not a big spoiler but it is in spoiler territory so we're cool you know what i'm saying it's it's not a big deal i didn't want to know that before time you know what i'm saying uh you know so i just want to let him know let him know or yes let him know <laughs> that i'm not upset or anything it's just that just be careful when you're talking to me and remember i have not read the manga okay so i wasn't upset about the the small spoiler because it's not a huge thing you know what i'm saying other than the fact that i didn't think they would kill off levi in the last episode like i didn't think that i didn't think they would kill levi levi is there was no there wouldn't have been no but we are talking about attack and titan though like you, you know what i'm saying like nobody is really safe if you want to if you want to call it that i mean it's been a while since we've lost anyone in 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 the show that was you know what i'm saying it's been a while we're talking about the main cast barring sasha you get what i'm saying uh because you know a lot of people don't think sasha is a um is, is a is a a part of the main cast of the story you know what i'm saying um you know so many people came at me when i was like why does sasha matter so much <laughs> these people are wild anyway let's get to the episode and i will see you guys for the review okay so i'm definitely looking forward to part two of season four i don't know what they're planning to do i don't know i'm not reading up on the news right now but i don't know what they're planning to do if it's going to be like another 16 episodes or they're going to do um or they're going to just do a movie they might just do a movie who knows um i don't know let me know in the comment section what you would prefer them to do but i know this is the final episode of what we're gonna get for this year <laughs> i don't know if they're gonna come back in the fall to finish up um i think the manga is over not sure but let's talk about it man i had a lot to say during the episode and it just goes towards this euthanasia plan right it just some of the stuff that doesn't add up i get what they're trying to do and as i said i understand their perspective in a lot of ways but i can't go along with it i can't agree with it whether it's aaron doing it or or zeke whatever 
I just can't go along with it because it just does not make any sense when you really when when you really look at it from a point of view of you can't guarantee what's going to happen in the future if the fountain titan power which did all of this is still around you can't guarantee that so as i said in certain aspects of the plan it's kind of stupid because you're you're like i'm gonna do it anyways i don't cause i'm gonna be dead so i'm gonna be dead so who cares about what happened there's like i did what i can to save my people so i'm gonna go out as a hero me and aaron gonna be basking in the afterlife because we know that we saved our people blah 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 right but my thing is you do not know what kind of child historia is going to have you don't know if historia is going to influence that change right because what's going to have to happen is she's gonna have her baby right she's gonna have her baby then before zeke dies i mean before Aaron dies she's gonna have to turn into a titan and eat Aaron, right so i don't know if they're probably if they're probably going to stockpile off the titan powers into one being including the fountain titan power and then they're gonna pass it on to historia's kid but you don't know if historia is gonna look and be like i don't like this especially in the fact that if she's looped into this plan at all we don't know maybe she is because we haven't really seen her much of her present self you know what i'm saying like we haven't really seen much of that she just showed up pregnant one day and we know that's that's the status of her in the current times like what's going on right now so there is no guarantee man you know what i'm saying like that's like planning is like oh it's a 50 50 chance that this might actually play out but i'm gonna be dead so who cares you know what i'm saying so you're not even gonna be alive to see this plan go through Aaron don't have a lot of years left you know to be alive and that's why i was saying earlier on in the episode when john brought it up i'm like maybe Aaron does have another idea in mind i don't know if he does he might just be going through the same thing and be like you know aliens need to be wiped off the earth blah blah, blah euthanasia plan go along with it because that's what we've seen but there is still a possibility based on who we know Aaron is and especially with that conversation also that that conversation that he had with Mikasa and Armin and when Armin called him a slave it's like who are you calling a slave I'm not no slave to anybody so those words might come back to mean something else because maybe he's not being manipulated and he has another plan so i don't know man i really i really don't know how this thing is going to play out all i know is that the euthanasia plan solves a problem right now it solves an issue right now but it doesn't solve the future because you don't know what the future is going to be the future could be that nobody has kids aliens die out whoop de doo we won earth doesn't suffer from titan crap anymore good riddance right the other end of the spectrum is that you don't know the future and as i said historia could influence her child we don't know how old he's going to be before she has to give up her power it, once she gets the founding titan powers she has all these oh, how much years is this 13 years or something like that she has all these years to raise her kid and influence her all there's a lot of things that could happen in 13 years before she's ready to give this to her son or daughter she could tell them hey we're gonna remake our people again and make eldia great again you don't know <laughs> these things could happen I'm not saying they can't try to see if this would work. I'm just saying not all the variables have been have been um, um, accounted for. Not You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking outside the box of how this thing can go wrong and not solve the problem that they're trying to solve. Uh, yeah. Okay, so on to Peak showing up. 
you know, pretending to be like she's on our side, blah, blah. And I said, I didn't trust it. I didn't trust. She could tell you anything. She could come in here and tell. I was like, if you needed to see me, why do you have to kill the dude right there? You didn't even have to kill him. But you killed him. And now, and I knew off the bat that she, you, you can't take out the dude with the Fountain Titan powers. It's the same thing with everybody else, with the scouts that were imprisoned in Eren. It was just like, this is useless. Like, he has the powers to escape. Why are you locking him in a cage? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, like, they think, they really do think he, you know, they're in control. When Eren is really the one that's in control. Because if he wanted to, he could bust out of bust out at any minute which he did um so it's the same thing it's like they need the founding titan powers just like everybody just like how you know because they know the importance of having the found the founding titan powers you know what i'm saying they want to have all the powers back like they used to have all the powers back you know what i'm saying all of the titan powers that's what they need because the people who Eldia were, that's who Marley became. That's who they 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 they, they subjected all of the, 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 the subjects of Ymir and treating them really bad and, and whatever. We know how bad it is. That is not going to change just because you have because you change all Eldians. You're what about all the people that are still in Marley? How you, those people are going to have to live now without genitals <laughs> and deal with abuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't get it. As I said, not all the variables are accounted for. Zeke just doesn't give a damn. He just wants to be a savior. And that's the thing. Like when you are being a savior, you got to consider everybody else. You have to have a God complex without a God complex. If you get my meaning, you just, you, you just can't do that. And I can't go anything that takes away a person's free will. I cannot, I, can, I just can't go with that. Like my morality standards just can't side with somebody who's going to be like, I'm going to do this just because, and you, you know what I'm saying? It's just for the greater good. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a, I'm a bigger picture guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bigger picture guy. And sometimes I understand that necessary sacrifices have to be made to save more people. You know, if you got to sacrifice to a couple of people to save a thousand, right? I'm on board. You know what I'm saying? I'm on board. If we save, if we try to save those people and we can't. And we know that this is the only option that we have is to get rid of these two to save a thousand. I'm on board. The problem that I have with the euthanasia plan is that this affects everybody before. If you're going to talk about collateral damage or any of that, right? It affects everybody. All it, it, it affects all Eldians, I should say. And you're not saving the world. You're killing your own kind. It's it's like as I've I don't think I, I think I used this example last week where I was saying that's like me getting up and be like all these you, you know what I'm saying? You have all these issues where you know um, when it comes on to black people, racial inequality, and all of that stuff. It's like me as a black man getting up one day and be like, yo. Let's just eradicate black people and just take, basically just take us off the face of the planet and let all people with dark skin just die out, right? Let's just all just take a cyanide pill and just kill off all of us and then the world will be awesome. It's kind of like that. A lot of people is probably going to disagree with that example, but that's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. It's, it's, it's like, you know, that would have been like the, you know, a plan like, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy to me to come up with a plan like that. Like, let's just kill off our kind. That would, that will solve our problems of suffering and also make the world a better place. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
it is just so it's a very conceited plan man like it, it's it sounds mo moral it really does it sounds so moral because it's like your thinking out of perspective is like this will end black people suffering and the world will be a better place without black people because they hate us so much <laughs> you know what i'm saying what about the people that don't hate black people you know what i'm saying what about what about the people who don't want to die who want to live out their lives and and don't care about racism and, and, and stuff like that do those people get a choice in the matter because you're taking away that choice and that's where it all comes down to is like you taking away that choice and you know you guys can disagree with me you can agree with me whatever i don't want to rant on for too much longer here i just don't like the euthanasia plan i think it's stupid and i don't think it will work <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't think it will work um you know all variables need to be accounted for for for, for you know what i'm saying like there's no promises from historia you know what i'm saying like she's like out of the picture we don't hear her saying anything towards as if she's a greek is she going along with it we don't even know you know what i'm saying like um the the the, the dude that they say that is is the father of the baby i don't really believe that's the dad either you know what i'm saying it's, it's probably somebody else i don't know but in any case thank you guys so much for tuning in as always as always i'm always going to give my two cents on how i feel um and you guys can do the same in the comment section of course leave a like you know what to do subscribe if you're new if you actually get to see this video <laughs> peace